All right, tutorial time. So people ask all the time, how do you get a easier way of making your bamboo slicer or orca, depending on which one you choose to use, to be better useful when it comes to say, coloring and painting without having to constantly go in and individually click everything and paint individually manually. It's exceptionally easier if you do your own design, and this is kind of where I'm gonna focus this point on, is if you do your own design and you focus on creating things in say Fusion and using components and when you export to say a step file, those component portions, um, the bodies don't get to stay named, but the components themselves do. And that is the easier way of allowing yourself to easier paint. Here, I'll give you an example and then you can try to use it on your own and hopefully that'll help eliminate the problems of spending hours trying to print you know, text or specific models you've made easier. All right, so here in Fusion, we've got my signs that I take with me to markets. And as you can see, it gives you, you know, the text and the base. And on the side of my component itself, I've got the frame and the text as individual files. So that when I go to export them as a step file, they will export individually, but as one unit. Now our files have been imported as step files into Bamboo Slicer or Orca. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to our side and go under objects. So now you're gonna see under this step file, there's text and solid. And if I were to change the text and I want to make this say red, I don't have to do a single thing. They're already painted. That's that easy. And you can do this with as many things as you want. I have done files with seven, eight or nine different colors and you can easily do this the same way, as long as you organize your step files in your Fusion the way I have, it makes things that much easier. All right, now as an example, a multicolor. This is my faceplate for my company. It looks pretty bland right now. And what we're gonna go do, as you can see, I have exported as a step all of the files in what it should look like, and I've even orientated them. So I've gone through and re-edited the step file just to kind of give an idea of the breakdowns. And now that I zoom out, without actually touching the painting software, as you can see, it's already painted. And it'll print that exact way. And this took me three minutes to process. Instead of having to go in individually paint it all, it's that simple. And it's simply by just making sure you run a step file. I hope that helps. I had a few people ask me and question how I do this. After you've done, obviously, the basic parts, you can go through and individually paint sections that you want to do manually that you couldn't do in, say, a step file. But um, this will make a bulk amount of your work very simple, and it can be used in so many different ways that uh, I hope this helps anyone who's having problems and struggling and not wanting to uh, undertake the whole painting and multicolor printing with the bamboos because this method, if you can design your own or at least export from a, a you know a software in a step file format, you. Uh, can hopefully make your life a lot easier. And uh, good luck, stay printing.